Um, today, we're going to be talking about the rock cycle and, and where do rocks come from, how are they formed, how are they created. And, and, you know, the hope is that as they kind of discover how rocks are made and the different types of rocks, they're going to figure out that just like the water cycle, it's this constant recycling of materials. So you're going to have to really work hard to figure out what's most important to answering our question. Some of them, some of them have too little information. It might be vague or ambiguous. You might have to, to, to work hard and move on to that second piece of, of, of information to get all of what you need. This, this particular lesson is going to be really uh, student driven. I mean, they're going to have to be, you know, on point. They're going to have to want to do it. Um, but uh, because of the way I've got it set up, um, there's going to be multiple avenues for them to find this information. Each one has two parts, okay? So part A is going to be um, a shortened web address. Okay, so you don't even know where it's going to take you because it's all, they all say Google something. You know me. Um, so that's going to take you somewhere, okay? And it's most likely going to take you somewhere that's going to help you understand how rocks were formed. That, that would be the big, the big picture. Uh, underneath that, in the color, is a passage, a piece of text uh, that is also going to help you understand um, how rocks are formed, okay? So we're going to keep, keep thinking about that question of, how are rocks formed? That's, that's the bottom graph. Do we need to? I don't think we need that because I think we've known that for a while because yeah. Yeah. magma on Earth's surface, wind and water can break into these, break rock into pieces. Weathering. Does that how they're formed now? No, so it doesn't really answer the question how they're formed. That's telling how they break that's, down. Yeah, that's saying how they break down. Um, they all work really well together. Um, it's a strong group. All of them together, they, they kind of meld together really well and, and work together. And, and when I put together my groups, um, and I change them often, um, we just changed literally before you got here. Uh, it had been a while and it needed to happen. Um, so I look at strengths and weaknesses. Wh where, where is this person you know, who, who struggles with maybe comprehension going to be able to find some solace in someone else that's sitting next to him. In this way, igneous rock can become sedimentary rock. How, how about we make uh, igneous sedimentary and then both of them? I guess we yeah, could do that. Yeah, could have that's something. a good idea. We could, have we could do middle. like two rocks in the middle, and then if there's another two rocks, we do two rocks in the middle. Yeah. Like a Venn diagram. Yeah. There's, there's three rocks, though. There's a matter of Okay. And then we'll just do a, a, its own paragraph. Yeah. All rock can be heated. Okay, so let's say something True. for sediment. But that's not saying how it's formed. Yeah. yeah. For the sedimentary section, should we say after a long time the sediments can be cemented together and make it? Well, the sedimentary rock. How do we want to put this for the sedimentary rock? Well, I like, how about I like, um, we find out after, after we finish, finish the whole packet, packet and then we can just go back. Yeah. Is how one way yeah. can make it. Let's just finish yeah. the whole packet first and then we'll tell you all the facts and then that's how we'll, we'll put it together and make it legal. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah. let's... Throughout the entire lesson, um, I had very low impact on what they were doing. It, it was all driven by them. What, what were they exploring? What were they understanding? And, and one of the, the best ways for me to understand um, what they're getting out of the text and, and what, they're, what they're grappling with and understanding uh, is to just listen in. Metamorphic rock is right there. It says the metamorphic rock, so it can't start at the bottom. I thought it was melting. Oh, well, so cool. I think it was that one right there. Yeah. Melting. And then because it like melts the rock and then it goes. Yeah. And then it's there. And then it's it stops. Stops. And then it makes it the rock. Yeah. Is this it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So first it starts melting, and then it makes the magma. Then it cools and 
crystallations, and then it turns into an indigus rock, and then, and then it starts weathering and erosion, and then it starts sediment, then compacting and cementing, then it turns into a secondary rock, then it starts heat and pressure, and then it turns into the last rock, the metamorphic rock. I mean, we had one question today. It was, how are rocks formed? And that's a big picture question, and that's, there's a lot of, of, of knowledge to be gained from just trying to figure that one out. I, I just want them to get involved so that I can hear what they're thinking. Um, and then beyond that, once all the conversations are done, and, and the reason why at the end we have that big kind of talk is because um, some of my students were misguided a little, they were a little off. They, they got a little confused by what was happening. Um, so being able to hear that big picture conversation and, and hear all of the, the different ideas and kind of clarification of, of all of that information helps them along. And at the end, um, I, I give them an option of, of how are they going to show me what they know. Wait, wait, wait. Some, some people are saying melting. Some people are saying baking. Uh, help me understand. What's the difference? Melting is like when it turns into liquid. Yeah. Baking is when it just gets hot inside. Yeah. How does it melt? How do you think it melts? It gets buried in, there, in a very hot area, and it's very pressured, so it melts. Okay, so it gets pushed down. You know, inside uh, the, the middle of our planet, we have uh, it's the core, and the core is super hot, okay? It, it's like a, 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 a nuclear furnace. It's just constantly hot, hot, hot. And so I guess if a rock gets too close to that, it can melt. And it might even become part of that, that liquid inside, okay? Okay, so maybe it'll come out of the volcano and then it, it cools and then that becomes. Uh, hmm. Now wait, because you said it was liquid and it was all one. It came out of the volcano and that becomes a igneous rock. So that was the melting part. You said melting, right? Mm -mm. You said baking. You said melting. Yeah. Okay. You said baking. How do I bake a rock? Well, when the rock doesn't go down so far, it only heats up some. So hmm. That's when it, it, it'll start crystallizing. Okay. So um, the, that heating up. Um, I'm in a, a really fortunate situation where I don't have to have a grade to hold them accountable for. Um, all of our report cards are based on the standards. So the standard today was how well do you understand the geosphere and how it works? Well, I don't have to have a test that I can you know, mark right and wrong on. I can, I can understand how well they know that by having them show me in some way. I feel really good because even though I've only been teaching a very short period of time, I have gone from uh, drill and kill to let me see what you really know. And, and it's been, for me, um, outstanding. It, it's been a real eye-opening experience because I, I no longer, you know, I tell my kids all the time, and we talk about how we grade and how we evaluate and, and all the processes that we go through. And, and I, I, the biggest thing that, that we get to walk away from from this is that I no longer have to punish them for learning. Mm -hmm.